boiler showdown between the Heatmaster MF7000 and the Portage Domain 3444. They're both shaker grade models. They're both pretty equal capacity models. They both have a multi-pass heat exchanger. One of the differences is the Portage Domain has a fully water-cooled heat exchanger. Every square inch is water-cooled. This one is just going to steal bypass plates. We want to see if that water-cooled heat exchanger, which is more costly to make, it is, is it really more effective? At the end of the day, we're going to give you the numbers to show you that that's more effective. We're also going to try to show you that the refractory brick, we call it a hybrid updraft gasifier. Is that worthwhile putting the refractory brick in? Does it really make the gases burn more in the wood? Does it give a cleaner burn and more efficient burn? We'll be checking that out. So we've actually pre-warmed both boilers. They're both at exactly the same temperature at the moment. So we did a pre-burn with them. We weighed out equal amounts of wood. We weighed the wood and we checked the moisture of every piece of the wood. So we got equal moisture, equal wood going into there. We've been building the Portage of Maine for close to 40 years. And we've heard often that the multi-pass heat exchanger really does make it burn less wood. And in recent years, since the heat master has been out, we've heard that they burn more wood and people have replaced their heat master with the Portage of Maine because they see their neighbors burning less wood. And so they replace it with that and they claim up to half the wood sometimes. So we want to see, is that really true? Does it burn that much? We're thinking if it burns 20, 25% less, that would be quite a good number. And so we're going to try to get the numbers today to show you how much less it's actually burning. Wood in the boilers, again, we weighed out equal amounts of wood, equal weight, equal moisture content. And Travis is going to put the wood in the Heatmaster MF7000. Today I'm going to put the wood in the 3444. Okay, Travis, be gentle throwing that wood in there. Both started up. They've got a fresh load of tamarack. That's one of our better woods in northern Canada. The tamarack, we don't have all the hardwoods like they have in some of the areas out this way. So tamarack's a great choice. You can see the smoke coming out of each one. Now that wood is 15 to 30% moisture. So till it burns off some of the bark and what have you, you are going to get a bit of smoke. Let's go check the temperatures of the boilers. And uh, the temperature of this one here is 171 degrees. They were both equal a few minutes ago, and now we're gonna check 175 degrees. So it's rising in temperature real quick. They were both equal. I think this one was a one degree cooler a minute ago. This is the stack temperature, 380 degrees. And uh, that's a boiler commander, something from our friend Joe that we've met recently and uh, this one is at 374 at the moment. It'll be a little slower from what we've noticed in the last few days at taking off and keeping up. So we're gonna adjust the heat load to match heat burning as continuously as possible. Equal amount of weight, equal moisture. You can see that the Portage of Maine is cleaning up a little bit better right at the moment. Time is 1250. The Portage of Maine is at 176, gaining temperature. Currently, we have two of the 150,000 B2 unit heaters running, and we're going to see what the heat master is and then make a decision. Do we need to unplug one of them to allow it to catch up? We're at 404 degrees. It's holding steady there at that temperature. The heat master is at 554. It's climbing, but it needs to climb because the actual water temperature is 162. It fell behind. So I think we're going to unplug one heat exchanger on both of them and then we'll keep track of the cycle. So we've been burning again for a half an hour or so and it a, was a fresh load of tamarack anywhere from 15 to 30 percent. Both of them had the same moisture content put into them and the same amount of weight of wood. You can see the smoke coming out of each unit right now. The heat master will have a little higher velocity. It's blowing a bit more air through. We did a test with the air meter. We could tell that it was actually blowing more heat through. And the Portage of Maine maybe cleared up the smoke a fair bit more. It's a little lower velocity with the eight inch stack. So the 
Stack temperature on this one is 430 degrees Fahrenheit. And the water temperature is 175. It's gaining, it's only gonna to get to 180 and it's gonna shut down. Both of the units are set at 180 degrees. After MF7000, we have a 546 degree stack temperature and the water temperature is 161 degrees. 161 degrees. I sure enjoy that backlit display on the Portage Main Ultimizer 3444. I think that was a good improvement they did for uh, going from the 419 to the 421, backlighting it. It's easier to set the program. You really only need to set the on and off on it, and it's so easy to set. Okay, based on the numbers that we're seeing here right now, we're gonna make a decision to unplug one heater on each of the boilers. That'll make it more fair. The heat master is only delivering 161 degree water to the two unit heaters, it's falling behind. The Portage of Maine is delivering 176 degree water temperature. You can see the numbers that the uh, Portage of Maine is at 429 degree stack temperature and 546 for the heat master. We'll probably likely see as the fire gets going and it tries harder to get caught up, its stack temperature is gonna be even higher but let's unplug one of each of the unit heaters right now and uh, see that the heat master can catch up. This is gonna mean that the Portage of Maine is gonna cycle off shortly. So we're still at 176 degrees here and we're still at uh, 461 degree stack temperature and then 540 degrees here and again 161 degrees. It was set at 180 and it's just dropped down uh, 19 degrees. When we started, they were up to temperature. So let's unplug the, the heater on the uh, on the heat master. We'll unplug the uh, bottom one, I guess. And we'll unplug the, the bottom one on the 40 degrees. Thank you.